Welcome to the Eagle Valley Model Railroad. In this video, we're going to take a simple DC layout and convert it to DCC. You have your main electrical bus. It stretches the length of the layout. You've got your track work. And in this example, we have a single set of feeders going from the electrical bus to each rail of the track. We also have our DC power supply and controller. It's wired into the main bus. We introduce power to it, Can turn our controller, and run our train. We're going to swap our leads over, and this is basically going to swap polarity from the controller to the track. and the train operation is reversed. Now we're going to convert this DC layout over to DCC. I'm not going to cut away and fast forward the video on you guys. I wanted you to really see how hard it is to convert over to DCC. And again, I do understand we're doing this on a simple layout, uh, but this will translate over to more complex and larger layouts. So all I'm doing is disconnecting the main leads to the electrical bus from our DC controller and power supply. We are going to be using the NCE power cap DCC controller in this example. This right here is our uh, power cab panel, also known as the PCP. This is the power supply that uh, powers the PCP and the power cab. This is our NCE power cab. And this is the communication cable from uh, the power cab to the panel. And just like our DC setup, we're going to take this uh, connector and hook our wires to the main bus to it. These are some pretty little screws, so be careful if you're using the NCE setup. Make sure all your bare wires aren't touching. Plug that back into its socket. I'm going to play around with the wires just a little bit so it'll sit where we can see it. And we have our PCP panel wired into our main electrical bus going over to our feeders that's connected to each of our track rails now we're going to take our uh, power and communication cable this gives power to our uh, power cab from the PCP and any communications that we want to tell the engine to do through the throttle travel through this cable back to the track itself. So now before we put an engine into play here, we're going to go ahead and uh, power up the system just to make sure nothing's shorted out and we have everything hooked up like we need to. Plug in, plug in the power supply connector back there. Set the power on. And it takes just a few seconds for the cab to go through its startup. But once it gives you the locomotive number, you're set and ready to go. You also have an indication light on the front of your panel here. 
that lets you know you do have power. So now let's introduce the engine to this set it up. Just make sure all your wiring again in this uh, we do have some bare wire showing. I know on your normal layouts you're gonna have all that covered. So get our engine on the track. Power this thing back up and see what happens. I don't freak out again. Once you, if you plug it up, you don't hear anything right off the bat. Your power cab is going to take just a few seconds to go through its startup sequence. And once it's done, you should hear engine fire right up. Now, just like in our uh, DC example, we're going to swap the uh, leads on our track here. Now, I've programmed my engine to be short hood forward. And once you do that, the decoder has enough sense about itself that even though we've swapped polarity over here the decoder does recognize it and will continue to run what you've determined is forward on your engine Now again, in this example that we have, we only have one set of leads going to our track. Once you start introducing a second set or multiple sets, that's when it's very important to determine what electrical bus goes to what rail. And thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, subscribe. Until your next time, happy modeling.